So they, could, they didn't have understanding or the faith factor, which is actually comprehension. Because even with faith, like we said, it's the evidence of things yet not seen and the substance of things yet hoped for. So you still must have evidence and you must have substance. Even if in the definition of faith. So you have people who blind faith. Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna make it, Lord. <laughs> by and by. <laughs> well, hold up. God said, you take your step and I'll take two. So when you gonna take your step? <laughs> you see? So they, there's blind faith and then there's faith. Evidence and substance, all right, which correlates to understanding. Because now you can, you got evidence and you got the substance that you need to make the faith binding, to make it truthful, to make it happen. You're not just hoping for you being pessimistic, but now you know that it's going to come into fruition. You know you can manifest it into existence. It's going to happen. Just like before we got this this story, I asked my wife. Um, where you gonna put it at? She said, right next to down the earth. Where we be at? Down the earth. Right next to all the down the earth. Wow. wow. We didn't know this was um, open. I just asked her, well, where you gonna put it at? Right next to down the earth. <laughs> Came up here. It's right next to down the earth. <laughs> you see? Because we were saying for the last two years, strong, because we, um, you might have seen us, we was, um, my wife was reading and I was interpreting some of the passages from the book called The Astral Healing Powers. Yeah. In that book, um, it gave us a clue. It says, in order to gather a lot of ancestors or astral beings around you, say this, continue now for days, weeks, months, and years to come and moving toward the most cherished goals of health, wealth, knowledge of ourselves. I mean, we actually that. enterprise right. and endeavor which we wish to be involved is bringing increasing rewards. We have so much abundance and success in our life that we, that we can help those who are sincere along the way. We're moving closer toward the wonders of God and guidance and the full release of our higher inner selves. So that right there brought all of this into fruition. Cause now, Whatever you want, now it manifests much more quickly. Because now you have an affirmation or a prayer or something right behind it in which to help strengthen your thoughts. And if that becomes the most permeating thing in your mind that you say throughout the day, then it has no problem with bringing results. But if you're doubtful and you don't think that it can happen, so now we just go through, I ain't got to specifically even think of what I want. Just by us saying that brings everything into alignment. Now you can think about specifically what you want and just simply say certain words or codes. You know, prayers, hakarus, ahesis, sounds of power, words of power. You can do those types of things. All right? But in order to tap into it, we recommend cleansing out. And you can do that with sound, all right? Because sound actually can move faster than light. Scientists have found that out. That in the vacuum, sound can actually move faster than light. So when it says that the word was made flesh, or when it says the word was God, and the word became God, you know, and the word, you know, the word was God, and the word became flesh, it is telling you that God became flesh through word. That's in the book of John. Spoken into existence. Right, spoken into existence. So the most powerful words are sound actually are that of the vowels. Why? Because V, O, W, and then L. What is a vowel? You take your wedding vowels, right? Which means something what? Sacred is an oath. And L means God or power, force, power, or force. So this is the sacred power. That's what vowel means. Vowel, the word vowel means sacred power. That's what it means, sacred power. So you take the vowels, and each vowel taps into a particular endocrine gland, which is your chakra system, cleansing out any stagnated energy and bring you back into alignment and balance. The eye tone taps into the pineal gland, 
the E into the pituitary gland, the A into the throat chakra, which is also known as your thyroid, parathyroid glands, the AH into the heart and thymus gland, the HAH into the solar plexus, and then we add two more, the SH, which is SH for the liver, the KAH for the adrenal glands and kidneys, the O is for the navel, small and large intestines, colon, and then the U is for the genitals. So those seven to nine sounds clears out all stagnated energy in your chakra system and the various organs. That's powerful.